Congratulations. Oh my god. The funniest thing about all of this is I was going to make a watch along. A live watch along watching the game live. And you know just stream it because I, that's, I like streaming. <sighs> Good thing I didn't because I was cussing. Oh my god. I've, I've never been so infuriated with watching a football match in my life. People might say it's just a sport. But you know this is a team you've been supporting for a while. You want to see them do well. In a crucial moment we fluffed it. I can fully say the title race is over. It's been over. God dude. The minute we drew to Freiburg is when I realized that we weren't getting the Bundesliga. This match was super important because Dortmund is away at Antrike Frankfurt. They could get destroyed. This is our time to fight back and try and get back in the title race. If Dortmund lose to Antrike, guess what man? We are three points off them. If they draw, we are now four points off them. Now, we are seven points off Dortmund. For no particular reason. Dortmund are now literally going to win the Bundesliga. Okay, so there's 34 matches in each Bundesliga season for one team. Every team plays each other twice. Away and on your home turf. We have literally 14 matches left. Now, people might be like, oh, but Dortmund lose two or draw one or you can get back in there. Yes, it is still mathematically possible. But it's not possible. Dortmund are not going to flub this title. They, they don't. They look different. They have better players now. They're not going to flub this title. Dortmund has won the Bundesliga. Our focus is now should be on the Champions League. Bayern has just gotten absolutely destroyed by Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen. I didn't even know how to say their name up until this point. Because I didn't care about them. I thought we were going to go beat them. The reason why I thought we were going to go beat them is because they're a poor side. They are 7th. Seventh. 7th. Seventh. They can't defend. They don't score many goals. Bruh, man. It, it, it's just so much. How long? How many chances do we need? How, how, how much do we need? I'm going to try to be calm. I'm going to try. How, how many chances are the players trying to make each, each 10 minutes? Chance after chance after chance, we miss them. Man of the match, Komen, because he ran his socks off and he actually made things happen. James Rodriguez, brilliant. I don't know why he took him off, maybe because of fatigue, right? Mula, he was great with that pass and he did some few good things, but he also didn't have the pace to keep up. He didn't have the pace. Wendell had a very easy job with Mula. All, all Wendell had to do was get in the Mula's way. No coincidence that as soon as Gnabry came on in Mula, in Mula's spot, guess what? We looked a lot better on the wings. Our build-up is painfully slow, man. Why are we still trying to build up from the back? It gets us in trouble. It's 2019. Football has incredibly changed. Playing from the back, it's great if you're in Spain. But the Bundesliga has gotten way more direct over the past two years. Like, that's why players like Jordan Sancho and all these guys, because they're super direct. They get the ball and they just start going at players. Cross it. They, they will, they cross it. Sometimes the opposition just does a mistake and they get a goal back. Or they just get a goal and the Bundesliga is getting way more direct. Why are we still trying to play from the back? I don't understand. Why? There was a couple of times where, why are you trying to pass back? You, there was passes. Just walking backwards. It looked like every time we would reach the halfway line, we turn back. Kimmich, sloppy, crap at CDM today. I don't know if it was just form, mentality, or something, or confidence. I don't know, overconfidence, but he was terrible. He lost the ball, like, a lot of times. The, the sec their second goal was Kimmich's fault. He, why are you getting by? Get goal side. And block the pass. And then Alaba. Alaba couldn't do anything else. Or Alaba could. Oh my god. There's so many defensive issues with this team. Alaba drifted inside. For their second goal. Giving the man space on the wings. Here's what a fullback. Fullback. I, I, I thought Alaba was perfectly. He was perfectly fine. Because he had to. Someone had to close down. Matt Hummels isn't going to close down. Because he's not an aggressive defender. Right. He's a. 
one of those really smart defenders with marking skills, but he's not going to close down. What should he have done? He should have blocked the passing lane as he was dropping back for the right, for the right wing, right back. I'm not even sure, man. Like, one little pass, it got through Hummels and Alaba. When Alba was coming out, I felt like Hummel should have done way more. And then Sule does his very best to block the pass. Because what can you do? If you don't close him down, you're going to get conceded on. They're just going to pass it. He's going to drive through you and then make a pass. So you got to go in and try and block the cross. Well, he couldn't do it. And I thought Sule was probably our, he's, he's our best center back. I think he's becoming really good. Wow, man, he he's becoming really good, but uh, there there's there the free kick goal I thought was really t just just a world class free kick from Leon Bailey, but I'm also pissed. The dive, man, was not it didn't feel dominating as a goalkeeper. Your dive has to be commanding from the start when the ball's coming going to a far corner. You got to use your speed and your reflexes to just put whatever you can. If it touches your fingertip, fine, you tried. But it didn't even touch you, right? It didn't even touch anyone on the wall. It wasn't a deflection. It was just a really well-struck goal. Good job to Leon Bailey. But I felt like if that, if that was Noya, Noya would have saved that, definitely. Ulrich was terrible, man. He was terrible. So bad. There was a few times where he would literally dive. And the ball was already 10 miles out. So terrible. Goreska, he was probably our best player. I mean, outside of Komen. Got the goal. Like, he has such good work rates. Like, I, I saw the highlight. I was like, how did this guy get there? Well, it turns out when James Rodriguez missed or, you know, something happened, right? When the shot got saved, Mula kept it alive, which is good for Mula. He held it on the wing, and then Goreska comes running out of nowhere, and Mula crosses it, and it's a goal. And I thought it was well taken of a header, letting it bounce in front of the goalkeeper. He can't save that, because if he tries to save it and lift it with his arms, it's going to go in, deflect. Uh, if he tries to stop it, he can't stop a bouncing ball like that. He can't just catch it. So it's going to fall to Lewandowski, but that was a well taken header, world class header. Like I said, James did well. He didn't really do much wrong. There was a few world-class passes that I thought, you got to do more, much more with that, right? This is why we've been wanting James. He's an outlet, and you made our build-up faster every time he got on the ball. I hated the fact that he was sometimes on the wing. Why is he on the wing when he could be playing attacking midfielder? I'm not understanding that. Lewandowski, terrible, man. I can't be bothered. He wasn't trying. There was a, there was a chance. Where Komen, really good run from Komen. He crosses a really nice cross. Now, I'm thinking Mula's going to take his first time on his left foot. He takes a first touch, which I thought was a wrong idea. The minute he did that, he just it was, an, it was just a lost opportunity. Because, like, that's such a good cross. Just, just shoot it. Get whatever you can. If it goes out wide, it's cool. But he stops it, right? He dribbles, and he's about to tap it in. Lewandowski comes sliding in. And it just, ugh, it just looks so stupid from Lewandowski. He had like two good headers in that game and couldn't direct them on the target. I am so disappointed. How many chances do we need? How many chances does Bayern need to finally realize scoring goals is what wins you matches? I'm not doing player ratings. I, all of them got, Komen probably got a 7. Goreska a 7. Can make a two. Oh my God, he was so sloppy. I, he, everything he did didn't seem like Kimmich. I remember when he played CDM for Germany? Actually, it's, he's played CDM half of his career here. I think he's normally very good at CDM. I don't understand what's going on with him. Did we all go into this match thinking we were gonna win and rolled out the possibility of losing? I'm not even sure. Well, we're seven points off Dortmund. Bundesliga title race is over as you know it. We can't. There's no way. Where are we going to make these points up? Where is Dortmund going to lose? You got to think of those things. Because Dortmund need to lose like two games. And then they come to us and we have to slap them up. And I don't think 
Oof. This makes me even more nervous for the Liverpool game because it becomes that much more important. Because are we going to fluff it? I feel like we, we are going to and get knocked out in the round of 16. I don't think that's happened in our history before. Disappointing performance. Comments, thoughts, concerns, man. I'm so concerned now. I feel nervous for Liverpool. I couldn't, I couldn't believe what I was seeing on that pitch. I couldn't. 